thanks so much for sharing your personal stories. You have no idea how much I enjoy reading the tales from your youth. The stories about hunting in Australia are amazing. Uh, kangaroo hunting in the outback and all kinds of things that I would never think of. Riding on public transit in New York with a 22 and with a bunch of your friends. Um, one day I'll compile these into some kind of a book because the experiences of people are just remarkable and there'd be no way for anybody even with the best imagination to come up with the real life experiences of people who were out with their rifles in different places. In any event, today I'm looking at small 22s. I was supposed to be looking at elephant rifles and Mexican Mausers, but these fell into my hands. This is a Savage model 1911 in 22 short. I haven't had this very long, but what an entertaining little gun. And of course, when you handle this, it, it may remind you of a, a, a rascal. I guess the, the newer rifle is called a rascal, the very small 22. And I have on the table, I'll just quickly show you these before I talk about this one. This is the Micromidas, I guess they call it, BL-22. We've looked at this before, and you know I like it a lot. Whenever I have to just take a rifle along somewhere on short notice, I usually take this. It uh, shoots shorts, longs, long rifles, and it's easy to operate. They never fail. So I thought I'll put that on the table, because this was probably made in, I don't know, 2016, something like that. Uh, this is a single shot Bayer. Some of you may know these. You can see it's got the typical takedown screw. You just need a coin or your fingers to take it apart. Something wrong with this one. Uh, that's why the guy sold it to me. I think I'll be able to fix it. It actually does fire, but then the bolt gets stuck coming back. And then after you get it back, you can see something goofy here. Then the whole thing comes out. So this is not a confidence building uh, 22, but I'll, I'll figure it out. The bore is excellent. Usually if you buy a gun with something broken, especially an older one, it's been in a closet for decades, but it handles beautifully and it's got that lightness and sleekness that people who collect these small 22s really admire. Along came the Savage 1911. What I like about it best is the 22 short aspect. What a great round. I put it on the table. I hope the camera people can focus in on it. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the 22 law rifle, which would be on your right. The short is fantastic. It's quiet. It, it's as effective in my experience on game or more so. Generally, the bullet stays in whatever you're shooting at, which means all the energy is in the target which usually means instantly things fall out of trees and so on. Um, but I, I'm going to actually talk a little more on that subject. You know, making these videos, uh, it's an interesting process. I've mentioned they're all demonetized, so you're, and I get all this different advice from people that it's, it's computers uh, that are calculating algorithms and they're analyzing your words. Getting back to the little 22, uh, you can have a look. I don't know if we can focus in on this, but look at the bolt on this little rifle. I mean, I've never seen a cuter little action. It's obviously a cock on closing. That's how it works. And this is a beefy action spring. Like that's not, it's not entirely easy, but so small. And the whole thing weighs, I don't know, two pounds, if that. I think this is not the original rear sight. Something tells me because of this melt part here in the barrel, but it doesn't matter. It shoots perfectly with this sight, which I think is in a dovetail, but I tried to take it off. And a lot of times when you buy these used guns, people get the parts to work by using super glue, these different sano acrylates or however you pronounce that. So this is kind of glued in. I like the the shaped or sculpted sheet metal pistol grip trigger guard all in one. Oh, and then you just spin this screw and then the whole thing comes undone. So 
it's easy to understand the action. You can see how simple it is. I wish everything was that simple. Here's the cool thing. You see how this trigger is shaped? I don't know if we can pick that up. But the trigger has, it's, it's got a scallop shape in it. And when you look at it, you think, well, this, is, this was broken and somebody fixed it. But that's not so because the trigger is curved so that it fits around the magazine tube. So you, you put a bunch of rounds. This reminds me of the, this is a 22 short, but the way my head works, this reminds me of a Spencer. So you pull this out and you can um, feed a bunch of 22 rounds, 22 shorts in there. And then you place this back in and going back to the other end, uh, the, the rounds appear here and then they're picked up by the bolt and chambered. So you would think, well, that's totally unreliable and what a lousy system. But it just looks like that. It actually works perfectly well. When I received it, it wasn't working, but that was for another reason. There was a dent in the tube, so the cartridges couldn't move. And I'm assuming this is a very old rifle. And the gentleman that sold it to me, you can see how this moves? So that allows the trigger to go around the tube. We, it just falls in place like that. That's how it all comes together, which is a neat way to handle kind of an engineering problem. Anyway, it, it, it all came together. The fellow that sold it to me uh, didn't know it didn't work. Uh, but yeah, that's, that solved everything, just removing that, that dent in the tube. And 22 short, it's, it, it kind of shoots forever. I forget how many rounds, because that buttstock is long, and you just saw how short the 22 short is. I thought I'd share that with you. There are collectors that write me from all over the place, and some focus on these in some cases because the laws are so accommodating with single shot antique 22 rifles um, surely one of the most harmless let's say harmless i guess no firearm is harmless but you know what i'm saying rifles that you can collect uh this one i have to say is really something else it's uh it's a special thing when you have something so light and and you can get close to it with uh, actually with the bl22 but still, it's not 100 years old or whatever this is. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Join me on Patreon and join me on Instagram. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.